While everyone is excited for the Star Runner, I think a lot of people have forgotten or overlooked the classic Drake Corsair over here, which came out in a concept sale in March of 2019, I want to say. Let me just confirm that. Uh, yes, it was. Hey, Printimus, second post in there. Good for you, good for you. And uh, a lot of people have joined Star Citizen over the past two years who might not even know this ship exists. Now, this rendering here popped up on Reddit and has created quite a stir and a lot of excitement as it reminds people about this spectacular ship. Check it out. Look at this thing. Do I even need to explain why this is going to be an amazing ship? Because count them. One, two, three, four front-facing weapons just in the cockpit, another two on the wings, not shown over, actually there's one shown over there, uh, six front-facing weapons, size fours, I believe. And uh, this thing is going to put out a ton of DPS, more so than the Constellation. And this isn't even a gunship. It's kind of an explorer, kind of an all-rounder type of ship that does a bit of everything. And it's Drake. This, for me, fits the ideal of what I'm looking for in a ship. Mercury Star is very, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's a data runner specifically built for a certain role, doesn't have much front-facing firepower. This, on the other hand, this thing can take out a lot of bad guys with all those guns pointing to the front. And for those of you that are new, I thought we'll take a look at some of the other cool features here. Now, the interior is also something which I'm very excited about with the Corsair, and this comes from the PDF uh, from the brochure. And uh, they go for the kind of typical Drake setup where you got the pilot and co-pilot. And similar to the Prowler, you're going to have the pilot and co-pilot where the co-pilot can control the weapons and the ship depending on uh, who gets in the seat first, I guess. But this is a feature that's in a Prowler already. But check this out. You're the pilot. You want to take a break. You walk out here. You do a bed log out. It's right there. You don't have to walk five minutes to get to your bed to log out. It is right there next to you. It just makes perfect sense in the design. And, you know, you have the 600i with the crew quarters, or I guess the berth, you guess. Uh, in the 600i, all the crew can simply watch each other sleep in their underwear, which is kind of nice. But if you want some privacy, as in these crew members right here on this Drake Corsair do, uh, they have their own private berths. And the interior of the ship just makes so much sense to me. Um, yeah, I'm kind of jealous that... Uh, these, these crew members get their own uh, little berths there, and on 600i, they do not. In the back, you got Space 4 Rover and 72 uh, units of storage. I don't show, What's the middle here? This is just more cargo. There's a lot to be excited about in this ship, and a lot of people have overlooked it or forgotten it. Take a look at that again. Isn't that beautiful? I thought what I'd do now is take a little look at the q and A. I I never covered this Q&A when it came out last year. But let's do a couple of questions from the Q&A and bring up all of you that are new to Star Citizen over the past two years that have missed this. Now, this may come on sale soon during anniversary sales. Uh, most likely, I think it will because it is a, a crowd favorite. So when it does come up, you will now know all about it. So begin with the first question. Can you please clarify your stance on Drake ship durability. Now, Drake ships are known for their offensive capability, not so much for the defensive. So shields and armor won't be the greatest, but they make up for it. The balance is you have a lot more firepower and the dev answers. When we say paper ships, we say it regards to the entire lineup where Aegis and Anvil typically have more armor and they can be regarded as very tough. In comparison, Drake ships are relatively under-armored, which we exaggerate as paper thin. While they may be less durable, the defense is more than enough for the intended role, they are pitched. So absolutely, with uh, six front-facing guns, this thing will be quite the ship to deal with in combat. Next question. With Drake's stance on bare-bones necessities, how will the living quarters actually be in comparison to other ships? Well, I actually, I just showed you that. Maybe I should have waited for the question first. But uh, hey, compared to the 600i, this ship is way better. So there's your answer there, right? Does the pilot controlled four size fives or four size fours gimbaled and the two size fours or size three gimbaled on the wings? And yes, the pilot does control those. Uh, with a special pilot co-pilot seating arrangement, will both seats provide an option to fly the ship? Now, keep in mind, this came out before we had the Prowler. Uh, so that's the, the newest uh, technology in the Prowler, I guess. And this is the system. You have uh, the one seat behind another one and it moves downwards. I don't know why they decided to go this way. I mean, wouldn't it have been easier just to make stairs 
just to go down or a ladder just to go down to that. I guess kind of Drake, this is their thing, which is fine. But same as the Prowler, the co-pilot can actually fly the ship and control the weapons. Uh, same as the pilot, we see that already in a current ship in the lineup. So that is the idea they had there, although it wasn't implemented in the game at the time. Next question. From what we saw in the white box clip, there's plenty of open hangar space left uh, after the rover is parked within the Corsair. Can't there be a few SEUs left over, although the, the rover is on board? So basically they're asking, all right, we can see that this rover takes up space in the back. There is a space for any more storage. And the answer they give is essentially, no, uh, we want the ship to have a similar trade-offs as the Constellation in terms of cargo. So you either carry a rover or you carry cargo, but I'm sure you can toss in a couple of boxes wherever you can fit them. That might work there. Here's a pretty good, pretty good question. I own several other exploration ships. What makes the Corsair stand out? In other words, is it a, its only trick is big guns. Are the big guns the only trick? The Corsair offers, the answer, the Corsair offers the same functionality as a variety of other exploration ships, but is catered towards a more offensive style of gameplay. Uh, you know what? This speaks to me. Um... While many ships rely on you to have crew to man some of the guns, this ship does not. You can simply jump in and do everything yourself. Now, at times when you want to jump in for half an hour, an hour, and your friend's doing a mission on the other side of the moon, and this guy's doing a bounty hunting mission, and that guy's mining, but you just want to jump in the ship and go, for me, this speaks to my gameplay style exactly. Having the offensive power, but still being able to go out and do whatever you want to do without worrying. Worrying. Well, basically, NPCs aren't a problem, but other players might be. But uh, yeah, you got to say, this kind of uh, front facing firepower speaks to me big time. Next question. Due to the fact that it's an exploration ship, uh, does the Corsair have a fuel intake system? Does it have a refinery? No, it does not. It is very bare bones. What are the component classes available to the ship, civilian and industrial? Yes, those ones will fit. With the wings folded up upwards in landing mode, will the Corsair fit in front entry hangar doors like those at the rest stops? Yes, it will. And here we have a nice image of the ship with its wings folded up. You know, I gotta say something about the uh, the symmetry here. I, I know every time a ship comes out, there's always someone that goes, why is the ship symmetrical? Because you're in space, you don't need symmetry. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of the asymmetrical look of this ship, although I know some people are. For me, it doesn't make sense. I mean, why would you design the ship this way? Now, I get the rule of cool, and I just want something different in design. What speaks to me is the firepower of the ship. Uh, but you know what? I'll live with it. And uh, I guess with the wings folded up, it's kind of okay, right? <laughs> there it is. We'll just fly it this way. But yeah, not a fan of the asymmetry on my part, uh, but yet, you know, I guess once you're inside, you can't really see the ship from the inside, even though you can do third party, I guess. But anyway, give me your thoughts, guys. What do you think of this ship? Are you a fan of the Corsair? Do you plan on getting it if it goes on sale? Your comments below, appreciate it. Let me know. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.